What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. In today's video we're going to learn five common and very useful body idioms. Are you ready to learn new vocabulary? So take a notebook and let's kick off. Okay, so let's start with our head. The first idiom we're going to learn today is to be the brains behind something. It means to be responsible for a certain plan or idea. In castellano sería ser el autor intelectual de algo. For example, Noah is the brains behind this cutting edge design. The adjective cutting edge means innovative, a very interesting adjective to learn. Now let's move on to our eyes. The idiom to see eye to eye or not see eye to eye. This idiom is level C2 and it means to agree or not agree with each other. En castellano sería estar o no de acuerdo con alguien. Let's look at two examples. The positive one. My mother and I see eye to eye on most things. And the negative one. Tom quit the job as he didn't see eye to eye with his boss. Now let's move on to our hands. The third idiom we're going to learn today is to get out of hand, which means to get out of control. You are no longer able to control a situation. In Castellano sería irse de las manos, but be careful, in Spanish it's plural, but in English we use a singular form, to get out of hand, just one. For example, the party got out of hand when some guests got drunk and started arguing. Let's move on to our idiom number four, which is to point the finger at. It means to accuse somebody of doing something wrong. In castellano sería señalar con el dedo. For example, in this company, we don't point the finger at colleagues, but try to solve a problem. And last but not least, the idiom to find your feet. Literalmente, encontrar tus pies. What do you think it means? This idiom means to become familiar with and confident in a new situation. En castellano sería adaptarse o pillar el truco. For example, Monica has just started a new job, so she's still finding her feet. So I really hope you enjoyed this English bit. There are lots of body idioms. If you want me to make another video with more body idioms, just let me know in the comments below. Anyway, if you're interested in learning more body idioms, you can check out these two videos I made before. If you enjoyed this English bit, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to our channel. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!